Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install MySQL on Oracle Linux. I have connected to Oracle Linux. This is Oracle Linux 9. Let's open terminal and verify. Activities, then open terminal, more, slash etc, os, hyphen, release. See, I have installed Oracle server and its version is 9.0. Clear screen by pressing Ctrl L. First step is we have to add the M repository. Open browser. Then go to then go to repo dot mysql dot com. See. These are the list of the repositories for Linux. These are for Ubuntu and these are for Debian but ours is Oracle Linux 9. So scroll down. If you are using Oracle Linux 8 then use this MySQL community release E8. Okay. Copy this link for 8. If it is 7 just right click click on right click on this EL7 but I am going to install on Oracle Linux 9 so and select right click this link and select copy link then go to terminal type wget then paste it We have downloaded the M repository for Oracle Linux. Now we have to install this. We can verify it. See, it is here. Okay. Then sudo enf localhost local install. Then paste that downloaded RPM and press enter. Provide the password for the current user. Then type Y to accept. See, we have successfully added M repository to Oracle Linux. Let's verify. Control L to clear the screen. DNF repo list enabled pipe symbol then grep mysql dot hyphen star hyphen community then Start the quotations and press enter. See, we have successfully added M repository to Oracle Linux. Now, install the MySQL community server by running the command sudo dnf install mysql hyphen community server. See, it is going to install MySQL community server and dependencies. Whatever the commands I am executing in this video are available in the video description. Again, press Y and enter. We have successfully installed MySQL community server version 8.0.30. Let's verify MySQL is started or not by running the sudo systemctl status MySQL D. MySQL D is the service name of the MySQL server. See, its status is inactive or dead. So, we have to start it by running sudo system ctl start mysql d d or you can give mysql d dot service both are same now again verify sudo system ctl status mysql d see 
it is active and running. Now we are going to enable auto startup MySQL whenever the Oracle Linux is rebooted. By running the command same sudo system ctl enable. Then we have to provide the service name. Service name is MySQL. It's done. Okay. We have seen how to start and how to enable MySQL service. Now let's verify the MySQL installed version. Give MySQL hyphen hyphen version. See, we have installed MySQL version 8.0.30. Control L to clear the screen. Next step is we have to set up password for root user. By default, temporary root password is kept at slash var slash log then mysql d dot log ok we are going to grab this file grab temporary password var log mysql d dot log we need to give sudo in front of this one sudo See, this is the temporary root user password. I am going to copy this one. This is temporary. So now we have we have to set by running the command mysql underscore secure underscore installation. Now paste this password. Right click and paste here and press enter. Now we have to provide new password. For the root account, type the same password again. You want to again change password? No. You want to remove anonymous users? Then press Y. Otherwise, type N and press enter. If you want to disable root login remotely, then press Y. Otherwise, type N and enter. Reload table privileges. I am going with Y and press enter. What we have done? We have changed the password of root user. Clear screen by pressing Ctrl L. Now we are going to see how to now now we will see how to connect to MySQL. MySQL hyphen U, then root, then hyphen P. Then provide the password that we have set. See, we have successfully connected to MySQL server version 8.0.30. Now let's verify install the databases. So databases see we have see we have these four databases which are the default databases comes with mysql if you want to use the mysql then you mysql database change now run the above command say now create a database by running create database then database name you want to use this database and create objects in the in that database then use then provide the database name here notice still it is showing mysql but let's verify select database see we have connected to active databases r2 schools let's create table create table type name var care 50 we have successfully created table let's insert arrow in this table into table table name is tech values mysql one row inserted Insert another row. First row is equal. One more row inserted. Let's verify. Select star from tech. To complete the statement, we have to give semicolon at the end of the statement. See, there are two rows. Now, if you want to exit from this MySQL, type exit and press enter. 
you want to stop mysql service then use the command sudo system ctl stop then service name service name is mysql let's verify system ctl status see mysql service is inactive so again start it sudo system ctl start mysql d we have successfully stopped and started the mysql service so in this video we have seen how to install mysql on oracle linux 9 then we have seen how to start and enable mysql service on oracle linux then we have seen how to change the password of root account then we have seen how to connect to mysql then we have seen how to stop and start the mysql service on oracle linux 9 version for more mysql videos please subscribe my channel